Bum and Wiggins created Union songs. Ella May Wiggins killed in Gastonia. When Ella May was ten years old, her family moved from its poor farm. From the Great Smokies to a logging camp where she washed clothes in wooden tubs. At age 16, Ella married a logger named John Wiggins. She had a kid at 17, but then the heavy log fell down. It fell on her husband, the heavy log, so no longer could he walk or find work. But into the mill went Ella Mae Wiggins, her family she now did support. Ella Mae Wiggins created union songs. Killed in Gastonia Sixty hours a week Working as a spinner In between Mothering more kids Her injured husband He started to drink And finally John Wiggins disappeared for ten years she slaved inside the textile mills And from sickness four kids of hers died No money for medicine, her wages were too low But the textile workers union then arrived In Gastonia, North Carolina Workers struck in 1929. The bosses shot down strikers and Ella May songs protested. So the mill owners said that Ella May must die. Ella May Wiggins created union songs. Ella May Wiggins killed in Gastonia. Led by cops and motorcycles, 500 vigilantes attacked the union members on the street. The union called a meeting to protest all the beatings to be held on September 14th. The road to Gastonia was blocked by a mob who shot at unarmed workers. Ella Mae Wiggins' breast was hit with a bullet and at age 29 she met her death. 200 workers marched behind her coffin when they buried Ella Mae in rain. And the mill mothers lament the song she did write was sung at the sight of her grave. Ella Mae Wiggins created union songs. Ella Mae Wiggins killed in Gastonia.